Hello everyone and welcome back to Bitcoin Tips. So today we are kicking off 2025 talking about how you can start mining Dogecoin using your Windows 10 or 11 or even your Mac based computer today in 2025 in less than 10 minutes. So if all of that sounds interesting to you, I do want to make sure to ask you to stick around through the entire video so that you don't miss out on any of the great tips and tricks that I have to help you earn more and keep more Dogecoin as we proceed into 2025 and an even stronger crypto bull market. So before we dive into the video, I do always like to start off here on CoinMarketCap, just taking a quick look at what's going on in the markets as a point of reference if you happen to be watching this video in the future. So if you aren't interested in seeing what's going on right now, feel free to skip ahead one to two minutes and we'll be getting into the tutorial then. But overall, today is January 2nd, 2025, and crypto is starting to have a little bit of a rebound. Total market cap is $3.4 trillion, up 1.74% in the last 24 hours. Of course, as you can see here, we've got Doge in number four on trending coins, currently placed on seventh here on coin market cap with a total market cap of $49.7 billion. So really nice to see that. Of course, Bitcoin, number one, just under $2 trillion, um, you know, right around that 96,000 mark. Um, but overall, lots of green on the last seven days. Um, and of course, Dogecoin is already up so much in just the last few months. So even though we're not currently at or near the all-time high, a lot of people do think we will be getting back up to that point, meaning right now, even though Dogecoin is priced at 33, almost 34 cents, mining it, collecting it, purchasing it, however you're getting your Dogecoin could be the best decision you make in 2025 as the bull run continues to intensify. So how do we go about mining this coin using Windows? So we're using a site here called Unminable. Now, if you're not familiar with Unminable, a quick overview of the site is basically this was created to allow you to mine coins that aren't traditionally mineable or coins that are mineable but require really expensive, power-hungry computers. Dogecoin being one of those. So of course Doge runs on the script algorithm. You can mine it with script ASIC computers, but you're going to be paying thousands of dollars, not only just for the hardware, but also to have the right power, cooling, and maintenance. So that's not really feasible for everybody. And most people have a computer that they would want to mine with, whether it be GPU based, CPU based, or just having a laptop that they want to set up and run as well. So that's what Unminable does. It, it allows you to pick an algorithm that's profitable for your specific setup, which is awesome. Now, what I would recommend you do is go out to a site called what to mine. Um, let me see here if I Google it real quick, what to mine.com and enter in the hardware that you have. They've got tons of popular GPUs up here going all the way back to the 1050 Ti. Uh, and then of course, like the RX 480, 470, 380 on the uh, AMD side. Basically put this in, so let's say I have 12080, you go ahead and say calculate. And here you can see that PROG POWZ is the most profitable algorithm for this card at the moment. But, I'm going to be doing this tutorial based off the Kapow algorithm, um, just to uh, keep it simple here. But uh, with that being said, what you can go ahead and do, go down in the description, click the link for Unminable and follow along and you should be up and running in the next five minutes. So once you come over to Unminable, go ahead and select to get started with our wizard. And then you can choose the basic or advanced option. I always recommend basic as this is good enough for 99% of people looking to mine. Um, and then here, what you can do is go ahead and say graphics or CPU. Now, if you are following along on a Mac OS based computer, you will choose the CPU option, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and go with the GPU option. I do have a video for how to mine using Mac uh, that goes through the full tutorial over there. But here's where you'll choose your mining algorithm. Again, I'm going with Kapow, but choose what's best for your specific hardware. 
and then you choose the coin you want to get paid out in which of course is dogecoin you'll go ahead and enter in your dogecoin wallet address which you can get from many popular sites such as crypto.com uh, exodus wallet atomic wallet there's tons of them out there uh, that'll give you a dogecoin address which is basically where your dogecoins will get sent once you meet the withdrawal minimum now please double and triple check that this is correct because there is no way to change it and keep the coins that you mine once you've mined them so hate to see you set this up and get running and then realize when it comes time to get paid that there was a typo so once you've confirmed that go ahead and say next and i do want to take a second to say i do have a referral code here which gives you a 25 percent discount on your pool mining fee so basically here on Unminable, there's a 1% fee, meaning for every 100 Dogecoin that you mine, one of those is going to go to Unminable. It doesn't matter if you do that in a day or in a year. It doesn't matter if Dogecoin's 30 cents or $30. You're always going to pay that one coin to Unminable. And by using this code, you actually reduce that down to 0.75%, meaning you get to keep an additional 025 Dogecoins for every hundred that would have otherwise gone to unminable. Now, if you use the link down below, this auto populated, but if you didn't and still want to take advantage of this 25% discount, the code is Bitcoin tips, capital B, capital T. And once you go ahead and enter that in or continue without it, you'll be at the final step where you download the miner and get started. Now, I always personally recommend G Miner as it's worked really, really well for me. It's the one that I personally use. Um, not to say that any of these other ones are bad, but this is just the one that I've always kind of stuck with and it's worked really well. So what you'll go ahead and do is say download miner files. This will take you to the GitHub where you just download this Windows 64 zip file. Once this is downloaded, make sure you extract the file. If you don't extract the file, you will not be able to start mining. It'll give you an error right away. So if you run into that, make sure you didn't miss that extraction step. And once you've done that, go ahead and come back over here to Unminable and select this blue download.bat file button. Um, and once you do that, you can see here, Google Chrome has called this out and said, hey, this is an unverified file. Are you sure you want to download it? You will have to select this warning and say download unverified file. Now, if you're not comfortable doing this, please simply select delete from history. And I'd recommend moving on to something else in crypto because this is just part of mining. Assuming you are okay downloading that, go ahead and download it. And then all you have to do is take this file that you just downloaded, drag and drop it into the folder with everything else that you just extracted. So as you can see down here, I have unminable doge kapow gminer.bat. Now, all you have to do to get started is double click this file. You will notice that I get another Windows protected your PC pop-up. Again, you will have to just say more info and then run anyway. Again, if you're not comfortable with doing this, please simply select don't run. Uh, it's always better to be safe than sorry, but I have personally never run into any issues with files from Unminable or Gminer. So if you're comfortable with that, go ahead and say run anyway. And just like that, we are about 8 minutes and 20 seconds into the video, including a little bit of talk with CoinMarketCap. But we are up and running, mining Dogecoin using an RTX 3070 on Windows 11. So it is really that simple and that quick to get started mining here with Unminable. So with that being said, if you do run into any issues throughout this entire process, please feel free to leave a comment down below. Always happy to help troubleshoot and get you up and running. And a few final notes about mining with Unminable. Once you start the miner, you see all this text in the CMD window. There's no red errors, nothing like that. It does take about 15 to 30 minutes for the stats to show up on the website when you go under the addresses tab. That's completely normal. Um, if it isn't showing up after about an hour, I would double check and make sure you didn't have any typos in the address, both in the file as well as what you're pasting into the addresses tab here on Unminable. And on the other side, when you do go to stop mining, all you have to do is find this CMD window and click that red X. Now you might be thinking, why am I telling you how to close out a window? Well, 
with Unminable, when you stop the miner, you may actually continue seeing stats and even payments to your on-site balance for up to 12 hours after stopping the miner. This is something that I've personally seen, and I've seen some questions about it as well, saying, hey, I stopped this miner, it's closed, but I'm still getting paid, is it mining in the background? You can rest assured that if this is closed out, you are no longer mining. I wouldn't be too upset about it because, hey, you're still getting paid and you're not having to mine. But personally, I've seen it where I've stopped a miner, turned off the computer, and unplugged it from the wall and was still getting paid the next morning. So it is just one of those quirky things with Unminable that I do like to mention. But again, if there's anything else that does pop up throughout this process, please feel free to leave a comment down below. Always happy to help troubleshoot and get you up and running. So thank you so much for watching. If you've made it this far in the video, make sure to hit that like button. It really does help out the channel in promoting Dogecoin and getting more people into the crypto community. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.